Hi, this is Paul with a quick tutorial on Octane Render for Modo and the Node Graph. So to demonstrate how this works, I will put a, a sphere in scene and then create a material group for it called Sphere. And then add an Octane Override. So if we go into the Octane tab, we can uh, render that. And you can see the Octane Override has a pre-built uh, graph for us there. So there's a new, no, or the node has been here for a while, but it's uh, the, the next release of the plugin changes its functionality somewhat. So the next release will be uh, release 101, so it will be 3.0.6.101 or 3.0.9.101 um, and there is a node graph here so this node graph is a way of putting uh, it, it, it stores the XML string that is in Octane Standalone's uh, materials so for example if I plug this into the Octane Override then what if we are rendering there's an edit node button attached to that node graph so I can click edit node and you can see there's a, a, a glossy material here and if we change that material color um, it changes in the viewport so this node graph here is uh, essentially from Octane standalone so when that node is uh, saved with the scene um, we can copy that node into the clipboard and then go into Octane Standalone and paste and you'll see uh, the node graph there. Uh, we can also paste back from Octane Standalone into this node graph and I'll demonstrate that in a, in a bit. So once we have edited the node there's also an opportunity to add an input node so this glossy material here we might put a, uh, a checks node in there for the diffuse and I'll move the scale down and the checks node um, is obviously in the node graph here but we might want to feed the diffuse channel of the glossy material from the plugin itself, in which case we can delete the checks node and we can add an input node which is a texture. So the texture will plug into a diffuse texture channel and we must rename that something without spaces called diffuse and when we come back out you'll see that the node graph has added a diffuse pin to it so we can now plug something into that pin so we could put uh, our checks node in for example and I'll change the transform So you'll see that this transform is outside the node graph, but it is still influencing the node graph's material. So to see how that looks inside Octane, I'll have a look at the node graph. So you can see uh, this is our sphere mesh here and there's a sphere material which has its own graph. So you can see inside the material graph there is a node graph here which is this thing here 
and then there's the checks texture which is here and the transform which is here and we can go into this sub node graph here and and see how that's been constructed so the way you lay out your materials in the schematic is loosely the way it gets translated into Octane. So you can do vastly more complicated things than uh, what I've done here. Um, for example, this node graph here, um, we can take, say, the Quixel shader here and we can copy that and then we can paste that from the clipboard and then when we edit that node you'll see that's the Quixel shader that's actually in Octane standalone if we go in this node graph here. So we can very rapidly get materials from Octane standalone into the Modo plugin and still keep their um, keep their, their full layout. So when we go back in you can see that that Quixel shader coming out of the node graph it, the plugin has automatically picked up all of the um, inputs to that. Now there was a little warning there saying that one of them had a space in the name so you need to make sure that any of these inputs here that's this one here um, doesn't have a space in the name so if we take the space out and then go back out you'll see it's added that channel to the bottom there so it's a very effective way of getting these materials uh, from Octane standalone into the Moto plugin so hopefully this is going to be a huge amount of use to people um, as I say, it's not in the current version, but it will be in the next release, which should be available in the next few days. It'll be released, there'll be a 101 at the end of the release number. Um, so I would love to hear feedback from people of um, um, how you've been able to use it, and um, I think it's going to be uh, a huge bonus for people. Thanks for watching.